Hello, my name is Michael Wade from Delphi Lodge and it gives us great pleasure to share with you this wonderful landscape, our history, our culture and our lifestyle and to ask you to join us in experiencing what life is like here in Connemara on the edge of the Atlantic Ocean. Where the mighty western ocean meets the Irish coast is where we find the mountains and barren landscape that is Connemara. The harsh winds and high waves subject both the land and the people to considerable challenges. It's this never-ending struggle with the sea that has shaped both the land and the people in this remote part of Ireland. I am the fourth or fifth generation of the Carrigan family that lives here in Lena. It has changed, but the people are still the same. They're good people. Uh, you can meet the world here in Lena. They come from all over Europe, America, even Africa. Connemara is famous for its excellent fly fishing in both rivers and lakes. Salmon and sea trout attract lots of fishermen to the wonderful intimate rivers. When the take happens, it's amazing. You, you, you feel this is it, you know, this is my chance. The thoughts of losing the fish in, in my world never even enters my head. He's a fabulous fish. This is the biggest fish to be caught since 1963, weighing an impressive 20 pounds 11 ounces, which is 9.4 kilograms. Connemara has a special relationship with the sea, surrounded as it is on three sides by the Atlantic. The ocean is ever present, and it's this that has created the uniquely mild climate. Hillary Fjord, lobster. When I was a young fella, I used to fish here with my father and two priests. And um, my job the evening before we would go fishing was to go out and collect a minimum of 200 daddy long legs. Another one. Chasing wind. Dedicated fishing for sea trout takes place in right. Glen Cullen and Dulock, where you drift with the wind in traditional wooden boats. You fish with a long rod using a very special technique known as dapping. Oh, good man! <laughs> <laughs> During the Middle Ages, a tribal group known as the Connechna was sent to the west of Ireland by the kings of Connacht. This was a warrior clan, and those who lived by the sea were known as the Connechna Mara, so the area became known as Connemara. What could be more Irish than fly fishing for trout from a boat on the lakes? The season is long and the mild climate means that the various flies that trout feed on are hatching all the time. That's a fine plump fish. 
well lovely fed. Lovely colours. He's well fed. Yeah. But lovely colours, nice. And in great form, like really fighting hard. He's a nice lad, isn't he? Delphi Lodge is an Irish country house estate situated idyllically in the middle of the Delphi Valley at the foot of two majestic mountain peaks. Delphi Lodge, an exciting place with an unusual name and above all a very interesting past. We hope you have enjoyed this journey with us today. We know we are privileged to both live and work in this wonderful environment and we look forward to welcoming you to Connemara and Delphi Lodge in the very near future.